everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I have kind of a bonus video for you. It's a what's in my workshop supply bag. You're going to get a peek at what I brought to the workshop that I just completed up north. So this is the same suitcase that you saw in my other video that was all about the workshop that I just went to. And what you're seeing me do here is actually unpack instead of pack. And it's just easier for me to share with you what I brought or what's in my travel bag, Bible journaling workshop edition. Easier for me to do it while I'm packing things up and putting things away instead of while I'm actually packing for the workshop. While I'm packing for the workshop, I feel like my mind is so scattered. So first of all, you're seeing right now some watercolor palettes, and these were just bought at the craft store. And what I do after the workshop is over is I don't wash them all out and dump them, but because this is watercolor paint and can be just reactivated with water at the next workshop, I put them right inside a quart Ziploc baggie and they fit really snugly in there and then I can store them in my drawer where I keep all my workshop supplies. Next, let's go ahead and open up this side of my travel bag and we'll take a look at what's in here. This is that used old laptop cover that I like to store some things in. This is a lot of the supplies that are kind of paper size or paper supplies or things like that. So in this envelope here, I have all of my templates that I had printed out and brought with me to share with them. There's a couple in here from other workshops and then there were a couple in here that were created just for this workshop in particular, having to do with the scriptures that the Women's Ministries director was speaking about for the weekend. I feel like that's a really nice touch at a workshop is to be able to interact with the scriptures and the Bible verses that are already being talked about. Also in this little laptop case is a pad of calligraphy paper. And this came in handy for ladies when they were practicing their lettering. You can kind of see there's kind of a slanted grid on here and that helps with hand lettering, cursive writing, things like that. If you watched the other video, you also saw that I brought along a pad of graph paper, and this is a really teeny tiny grid, which is helpful when we're doing Bible journaling art, which is pretty small sometimes. I also brought a big stack of cardboard, mat board, and this is just like off of pads of paper that have been used and things like that. These double as just really nice Bible journaling mats that they can put under the Bible page where they're working. I also brought this trusty book and I do have a review and some of my thoughts about this book on my channel and I'll link to that in the upper right hand corner over there. This is just a really nice book that they can read and get exposure to a lot of different artists work. And then the last thing in this case is just this little folder here and this is where I keep some odds and ends. I've got some extra paper towels, I've got a couple rulers, some tracing paper, and then this is that Bible-ish paper that I was talking about. This is the paper that I am ripping from the literature textbook and you can see it's just really nice and thin. It acts just like a Bible page. And if they just use a little bit of washi tape and stick this to a piece of that cardboard that I'm bringing, that's how they get to kind of experiment with watercolor and see how it feels on a Bible page. Additionally, in this side of the suitcase, I have some heavy paper. This is for people that really don't want to experiment on Bible paper, but would like to create some art with watercolor or anything else. This is just different weights of art paper that they can experiment with and have fun. I did bring the whole pad of tracing paper in case we ran out or in case we got really excited about making some tip-ins. And then finally on this side I have my little handy dandy pouch here and this just has miscellaneous supplies in it. So I have three pairs of scissors, I have three rolls of washi tape, and then finally I have three little bottles of my Elmer's glue for designing tip-ins and putting them in our Bibles, which a lot of ladies enjoy putting tip-ins into their normal Bibles because many of them don't come with a journaling Bible at the time. A lot of them don't mind adding a little tip-in into their normal Bibles, so that's pretty fun. 
Over here on the other side of my travel bag, there's a lot of other exciting things to share. Right here is just kind of a storage pouch that holds some different things. First is a Ziploc bag of mechanical pencils, a couple Sharpies, although I don't recommend using those in your Bible. They come in handy for practicing. And I think I also have some replacement erasers in this bag. Nothing too exciting, but good to have around. I also have a baggie of my tube watercolors. And for workshops, like you saw those palettes earlier, this just seems like a really great way so far to allow everyone to play with some watercolors without really dirtying up a brand new palette or anything like that. And the tubes, you can just refill the color you need to whenever that need arises. And then finally, inside of this pouch, I also have a pouch of various paintbrushes that ladies can play around with. All different sizes, all different types. Okay, next let's take a peek back here in this bag. So this is a bag that just has four different packages, all identical, of the Crayola Twistable colored pencils. These are the 30 pack. They're my favorite colored pencil to use, mainly because you don't have to worry about sharpening them. And they come in a wonderful array of colors, and they're actually pretty good quality for the price. So I tuck in four boxes of those and I usually split them up in cups around the tables so that ladies can use them. In addition, I have this other brush roll that you saw in my other video. And when you open it up, it just has some of my favorite Faber-Castell Pitt Artist pens in it, a pencil, a white gel pen, and this is just for ladies to kind of experiment and see some of my favorite things that I love to use in my Bible on almost every entry that I do. And last but definitely, definitely not least are the journaling Bibles that I bring. So these are the three journaling Bibles that I bring. The first one that I love to share with people is my daughter's Inspire Bible, and my daughter's seven and a half, and this is the Bible in which she does her Bible art. And you can see she has some lovely entries with tippins and stickers and colored pencils. She uh, is using mainly colored pencils and crayons so far, but she's just having a great time creating in her Bible. And ladies love to see that. They get all inspired and think, wow, if a child can do it, can't we all? And we're supposed to come as children anyway. The second Bible that I travel with is my very own first journaling Bible I ever got which was just last year. This is the ESV single column journaling Bible. And this is like my old trusty, I love this Bible. And so I love to just bring it and share it around and let women just kind of flip through it as they like and enjoy the art that's in it and pick up some inspiration and just get to kind of view a journaling Bible for what it is if they've never seen one before. Finally, I bring my interleaved Bible as well. And this one is much newer to me and has much fewer entries in it, but I think it's really valuable for women to be able to look at it and just see that there's a really great variety of Bibles out there. This particular one happens to be the one that every other page is completely blank. And I also have a video on this Bible on my channel, so I can link to that as well if you want to seek some of my first thoughts as I first opened the box for this Bible. So I can't believe it. That is everything that I bring. It's somewhat minimalistic, really. It's not too overboard. Like I said, I got to work with these women at the last workshop for four hours, and it was just four hours of wonderful connection time with the Lord and each other. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed it, here's a few more videos of mine. Find me on Etsy where you can purchase all kinds of templates from me. There's free templates in my Facebook group. The link for that is in the description box below. God bless you. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It's amazing.